using XAPI and XAPI profiles, you're really planting the seeds of data that you want to collect and grow into meaningful information. Um, and the idea here is, is that we wanted to uh, not over normalize the kind of information that represents a, a learning event. What are the discriminators between what a generic person might be able to do and a specific person can do? And, and we call this a competency object, a competency definition. Um, with the total learning architecture research, we were trying to really sort of open the aperture to our, a truly complex adaptive system of truly decentralized, decoupled systems that could come together into ad hoc creations. Um, and then change their form over the course of their life. And, and more importantly, over the course of a career arc of all the members of the Department of Defense. We tried to create a, a standard that was very extensible that allows you to set up uh, the different types of uh, sensors or biometric devices, but also that allows you to set up, you know, where is the metadata repository for this asset? Where is the LRS endpoint? What other data types are, are being collected there? And what are, where are those uh, log stores and their, those data repositories? Yeah, so I think the big takeaway here is, is that uh, we need to start treating all learning at certain level on a level playing field. So it's not you go to school and then, oh yeah, you do the simulator, but we don't really record anything about it. Or yeah, you go to school, but then you have a job and they're two different things. Um, so what we're recognizing is that the, the wall between manpower, personnel, and training is somewhat artificial. And that we really need to think about that the personnel aspects as well as the training aspects on a level playing field. And, and a lot of the research that we were doing was trying to come up with data structures that enable that. And the only way that we can really do the lifelong learning is by having that, that identity ubiquitous across your DOD career. But to, to really re, to capture the shareable reuse kind of things that have always been the goals of these initiatives, we're going to have to unnormalize things a little bit.